Hello again, everybody. Well, today we're heading out to the beautiful town of Chickamauga, Georgia. We're going to check out something interesting, the Chickamauga Coke Ovens. Like I've said before, there's a lot of coal that used to get mined in this area, and there are a few Coke ovens that turned the coal into Coke so that they could use it for steel and iron. So let's go take a look today and see what we can see, shall we? Let's go have some fun. Well, here we are, we've made it. These are the Chickamauga Coke ovens. And these were from the Durham Iron and Coal Company. And believe it or not, the coal was mined up on Lookout Mountain and brought down here. It looks like they've turned it into a park now, although there are some beautiful but interesting little pumping stations. Chlorine, I'm guessing that's water supply for the area. So, let's go take a look and see what we can see, shall we? And there's even a wishing well. Well, of sorts. It's hiding a water main and people have thrown a lot of garbage in it. It's kind of funny. They always call these things beehives. I don't think I would want to get the honey out of these. You can see the whole berm of them left over. And the interesting thing about this is, uh, I wonder who figured out that while you can turn wood into charcoal, that you can also turn coal into coke. It's basically concentrating how it can heat up. The coke gets hotter so that you can melt steel and iron. It's a shame they don't want you to come any closer than this fence. I would really like to look inside one of these ovens and show you guys what the interior looks like. Although, since it does say beehive, you can kind of uh, get the idea. Well, here's a closer look at one anyway. Definitely got hot in there to make the bricks do that. As you go from one end to the other, some of these appear to have definitely caved in like that one. And some appear to be in really good shape. Well, here's one on the end that's really falling open. And have some trains that would have brought the coal. And then they would have dumped the coal out of these hatches at the bottom. Hmm, some kind of a little motor over there. I guess you would turn it on or turn it off. Maybe that would help dump the coal. I am not entirely sure. Any train people know? There are definitely levers 
all over that motor valves it actually looks more like a hydraulic valve AAR Ajax 1942 I'm guessing that shows the diagram for the vacuum and the valves Uh, you know, independently of the Coke ovens, they've done a neat little wetlands area. You could have a really nice picnic around here. Well, and when they were cranking, they really put out a lot of pollution, didn't they? see that that line was not too fine. And evidently, the railroad tracks were built over the coke ovens. That is an interesting thing. I did not know that. If you train people, do you know if the Chickamauga Train Depot is still around? What's interesting is you can still, even to this day, smell the burning smell from these Coke ovens. Something tells me it probably never goes away. Huh. Well, we can get, it looks like a look at one that you've either rebuilt or it's a surviving one. So let's take a look. And of course, somebody would crawl in here to spray paint it. That's such a shame. I guess. 
this, they would have sealed in this entryway because you want the air away. from the coke. You want to just bake it and turn it into more hardcore. Well, that is a large batch of cattails. Water is super clear. Unbelievably clear. Interesting, they have several buildings. I swear they've used the old rock from around here to build them up. There's high voltage power going to every one of them, so I'm guessing that it's got something to do with the water supply. guys thanks for watching I'm off to go on some more journeys so until then why don't you go on some journeys of your own we'll see you next time bye bye